When we're doing long division of polynomials, this is perhaps the most involved but easiest thing you're going to do. Okay, Step number one is to work out what x cubed divide by x is. So you get these two terms and you divide them. So x cubed divide by x and that equals x squared. So you write that on the top here. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is then you multiply this x squared by the thing you're dividing by. So you're multiplying these two together. So x squared times x, and you write this here, x cubed. x squared times minus 2 is minus 2x. Okay. Next step is we do a subtraction. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 5x squared minus negative 2x squared. I forgot the squared on that. So 5x squared minus negative 2x squared is 5x squared plus 2x squared, which is 7x squared. And then you bring down your next term. And now we repeat the process. So now we go, what's 7x squared divided by x? And we decide, so 7x squared divided by x, that is 7x. And we write that up here, so plus 7x. And we repeat the process. So we're going to do this times by our bracket. And we're going to write that here. So 7x times x, 7x squared. 7x times minus 2 is minus 14x. And we're going to do a subtraction. 7x squared minus 7x squared is 0. Minus 2x minus negative 14x will get us plus 12x. Bring down your term. And we repeat again. So we're going to go 12x divided by x is 12. So we write that up the top. And then we multiply that by our brackets again. And we write that down here. So 12x times x is 12x. 12 times, sorry, 12 times x is 12x. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Then we do our subtraction again. 12x minus 12x. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Try and keep everything in the shot. So 12x minus 12x is 0. 1 minus negative 24 is actually plus 25. And there, we haven't got an x anymore, so we're finished. What this means is that x minus 2 goes into x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x plus 1, x squared plus 7x plus 12 times with a remainder of 25. This here is called the quotient, and this here is the remainder. So this is an example from the notes of that you were given. Um, example 2, so you can copy that down if you would like. One thing I should point out before I finish this video is that I don't actually expect you guys to write these lines here. Do them in your head if you can, otherwise you're going to get confused. So normally if I was working this out, those equations would not be written there and you'll get a lot cleaner idea of where things are.